everyone I've just come to show you some examples for the September October craft swap over at Sewers Craft Club and um, this two months worth of swaps is all about Christmas and I've gave an absolute massive list for you to choose two from the following sections and then I'll go through each section with you but I don't want to pay uh, too much attention to each thing because the video is going to be hours long so I'm just going to move swiftly through the video and show you the the, sam the examples. Now as I said you to choose a total of two swaps from the sections which I'm going to now reel off. Christmas tags, Christmas cards, Christmas coasters, Christmas embellishment box, Christmas tree decorations, mini Christmas album, traveller's Christmas notebook, um, altered decorated paper clips, Christmas napkin swaps, Christmas ephemera pack, Christmas stamps and Christmas stickers. So as you can see the theme running through all those up is Christmas. Right, let me just move on up. Oh, got me examples on my laptop and I'm trying to read from a huge list. Right, the first section is Christmas tags. This choice is to make, if you choose this for one of your choices, it's to make three handmade strong Christmas tags. Approximate size being four and a half by two and a half, give or take a little either way. These need to be strong, so backed with heavy duty paper will enable this. If they are not heavy duty tags, so if they're not strong tags to begin with, back them with heavy duty cardstock and that will make them strong. These really are strong. You could hammer nails in with these. They are a very, very thick quality cardstock. And I've even, on top of that, I've even backed them so that they really are heavy. And that's the idea. Three handmade strong Christmas tags, approximately four and a half by two and a half, give or take a little either way. These need to be strong, so backed with heavy duty cardstock will enable this. And then store in a small box, gift bag, wallet or presentation case. The storage does not need to be handmade. I'm opening this swap to everybody, so... The, all the ladies in the craft club, some are seasoned crafters, some are beginners and some are just craft admirers. So I've tried to incorporate something for everyone. So I'll go through these, the three tags I've made, I'll quickly go through. The heavy duty, uh, I've backed them with s some sparkly paper and then a Christmas fairy. And I've used several different colours of the stickles and washi and on the reverse I've washi there to hide where the ribbon comes through and I've put a little 3D decoration there and some more washi tape. I am not going to go through every detail because we'll be here all night. I'm just going to quickly show you the tags and then move on and just a pearl has come off this I'm just straightening it. Right this again backed Cut out, fussy cut, Merry Christmas, two different coloured stickles surrounding it, some tartan ribbon and some lovely large green and red pearls and the back washi tape and a 3D. And on all the tags, as well as putting a pretty ribbon on, on the back, I've also put some string so it can attach to a gift if you were to use them as gift tags. You can use them as gift tags or journal tags in um, an album. Now I made the box to fit three tags but unfortunately I wasn't taking into account to put this frame on and that overlaps so that can't fit in the box so I will either make a new box or a new tag. Um, again the 3D sticker, some washi and the front. I backed the tag, it's got a red and white theme going through. That's why on this little tag a tab I made it blue so you, you pop a little photo there say you're giving this gift to someone and there's a new addition to the family or and they haven't seen it you could put a photo of the new baby on this and uh, attach this to the 
friend's present and that fits in neatly there or you can if you're given the gift to a loved one put a, a, a photo of both of you on there it's just a little photograph frame and as i say these fit in the box if i choose this for one of my swaps i'll make sure the three tags fit in the box before sending it to my swap partner and that fits there so it's three strong christmas tags in some kind of storage box gift bag or presentation wallet so there's the example of the three gift tags now the next section is christmas cards now let me just scroll oh there are three choices in this section you can either make one large christmas card size approximately eight by eight give or take a little or two standard size christmas cards approximately a6 uk a6 or four three by three or four a7 uk cards so i'll just quickly go through that again either one large christmas card eight by eight two standard size christmas cards uk a6 or four three by three cards or four a7 cards that's uk a7 all the cards to come with envelopes and these can be shop bought or handmade that's your choice for the envelopes and the cards are to be stored in a cello bag or gift wallet i've made a gift wallet here and i've chosen to make four uk a7 so there's the gift wallet i've made there's the front there's the back just got one of those little 3d christmas baubles and as you open the ribbon i've made four a7 christmas cards and i've made two matching gift tags which is not a stipulation of the swap i've just made two two little ones and i've tucked them in and the christmas cards are quite plain they're just a plaid plain white card and then the envelope i've decorated all the envelopes with a christmas sticker so that's christmas wreath and there's two with those on and two with christmas trees on all the cards are exactly like this and i've just popped in two christmas tags which match the paper and these are not a stipulation i've just popped those in and i've tied each bundle with some green twine and uh, there's two bundles so that's four cards four envelopes and two tags in a nice little presentation wallet so that goes in there so the first section was christmas tags and i showed you those the second section was christmas cards and you've got a choice of three different sizes to, so that counts as one of your total two swaps so moving on christmas coasters now i've got some handmade coasters here but they're wedding ones they're not christmas ones obviously i'd have been here all year if i'd made everything um for, for this swap i've had to get things out at my stash what i've already made these are wedding themed obviously you will choose christmas themed these are made from uh, cardboard and i think they're about three and a half by three and a half you can buy some of these that are four by four and you can the stipulation two christmas coasters approximate size three and a half by three and a half or four by four and these can be made from thick cardboard or cork these are like the cardboard ones these have got a wedding theme but the ones you will make will have a christmas theme so i've just backed paper on there and there and i've inked all the perimeter and with this one i started to um I don't know it was I'd, I'd done a glitter mod podge and then I think I put some varnish on and 
I don't like the colour because it's taken the whiteness off and looks a little bit yellow. But it is 100% waterproof. And that's what you've got to make. You've got to put some kind of seal until varnish on so that these can be used and then wipe clean. So there's two of the coasters. Obviously yours will be Christmas themed. Just moving up. Um, as well as making them um, wipe proof also any embellishments you put on them make sure they're flat really flat so that's a choice of two christmas coasters there and the next section is christmas tree decorations and you're to make one of the following options and that will be one of your two choices you can either make two small paper decorations for example two small decorated paper cones you can make one large chusy moosey and i'm going to show you the one i've made and that counts as one choice however if you fill it with goodies that counts as your total of two swaps or you can make an altered bottle cork decoration or you can make a one non-paper Christmas tree decoration. Please make sure all the decorations have hanging twine. So I'll just go through that again quickly. Two small paper decorations, for example, two small paper cones or one large tusimusi, which is counts as one choice. But if you fill it with goodies, that counts your total two swaps because there's a lot of work goes into these. Or an altered bottle cork decoration or a non-paper Christmas tree decoration. And please make sure all decorations have hanging twine. Right, this is my Tusamusi. I'm in the in a corner, so I can't zoom out and show you everything. I'm going to run along the camera and show you it that way. It's a large cone, and I've made it with double-sided cardstock. And there's the opening there. And I've lined it with pink lace running around the inside and on the outside perimeter I've run white lace round and where it meets which is there I've popped a little handmade flower and then outside for the decoration I've done this large handmade flower which I've decorated with blue stickles and a pearl and then running down another one of my handmade flowers this is fabric and I've just touched all the outskirts of the petals with uh, either gold or silver stickles I can't remember and then a lovely flower centre there a rhinestone and then I've done lace all the way up as well and I've done it with a pale blue pink and green roses that's the back and there's the hanging twine and then right at the very bottom three jingle bells so i hope you can do the best i can on the filming i hope you can see all that let me see if it no that's the best it can do so there's a large handmade tusi moosey and that counts as one of my choices but if i fill that with goodies and send that to my swap partner that counts as the two right moving on another section choice is a christmas embellishment box and i'm not going to spend too much time on this because i'm doing a separate video on this for a different swap and this this isn't christmas embellishment swap but it's i'm showing this as an example so get yourself plastic Tupperware box or tool box or any type of box and decorate it like I put cat stickers on and um, my logo Sue Kitten is two black cats one with a blue collar and one with a red collar because my cat's red and blue they're jet black and they one wears a red and one wears a blue collar so that's my business logo Sue Kitten's Cove so this is a box you can either use a plastic box like this or you can store the stuff in a flat wallet or package it in a cardboard box 
it's got to be a box full of either all handmade or a mix of handmade and shop bought, <coughs> bought sorry, Christmas embellishments. So this isn't a Christmas box, it's just a sample. So here's some examples. You can make different coloured flowers and give them little centres. Uh, I've made some little tags and I put rhinestones and stickles and on the back uh, these sorry are not tags these are toppers they're made with two circles scallop circles I've put the stickies on the bottom and I've done a design on the top and layered them and uh, I've gone a bit further put some nice images and put some different coloured rhinestones so they're all toppers in there you can do all the exact same things but with Christmas themes because it's a Christmas box. Then here we've got a similar thing going on with the scalloped circle of images and I've covered them with rhinestones and I've attached a string and I've backed it with another scalloped circle. So there's a section of tags and then inside there's some of the tags like this and then some altered paper clips there's a gorgeous girl altered paper clip and there's some gold butterflies and some other altered paper clips so just get yourself a little plastic box with this and you can either do what i've done all handmade embellishments or half handmade and half shop bought and just cram that box to the brim with your embellishments and decorate the lid with some stickers and rhinestones so that's one of the options which is a christmas embellishment box i just showed you one there but it wasn't christmas themed next one next section is a one page mini album and that counts as your one of your choices and you to store it in a christmas gift envelope or gift bag or you can make a full size mini album and that will count as your two choices and that doesn't have to be christmas that can be anything whatsoever so the choices in this section is a one page christmas mini it counts as one choice and you store it in a Christmas envelope or a Christmas gift bag. Your second choice, and that counts as one choice. Your second option is a full size mini album and that counts as two choices and you can use any theme. Right, I've made this handmade envelope and this is a beach scene because it's just purely an example of the one choice option so obviously if you're going to make one of these you'd make it with christmas paper and then store it in your christmas envelope and then at the back there's some tanks so that's just a simple envelope uh, a simple album which will be christmas paper if i was to go in for the for that sort of swap and there uh, stores in a Christmas envelope or a Christmas gift bag that counts as one choice if you do a full size album any theme that counts as your two choices right altered decorated paper clips right now let me just go through this with you decorated or altered paper clips if you're going to use the tiny size, which are those, you make eight. If you're going to use the jumbo paper clips, let me get one, which is this size, and these are the ones I'm going to show you today, you use four. And I've not brought it to hand, but if you use the great big massive paper clip, which is about I don't know, four or five inches, you just use one. So you all you choose your size of paper clip and you alter them. So if you're going to use the tiny paper clips, you make eight of those. 
if you're going to use what's called a jumbo paper clip you make four of those and if you're going to use the really massive paper clip which is i think it's about four inches well then you just make one of those if you're making the tiny and the jumbo clips you make christmas themed and if you're doing the great big massive mega paper clip you can use any theme at all right so i'm just going to show you some examples of mine and i've used the jumbo clips so there's a little gingerbread man um here's a fancy washi flag here's two more gingerbreads different colors i've tried to match the gingerbread with the clip or i've used something contrasting like the green and the brown and the backs of those planner clips or paper clips i've just backed the gingerbread onto a circle of plaid cardstock to tidy the back up and there they are and then i've used a couple of non-christmas ones just to give you an, an example let me twist that round and these are just graphic 45 for, ba for my baby books i just popped two in and they are made from the jumbo clips so once again if you choose the tiny paper clips you make eight if you use the jumbo paper clips which these are you make four and if you use a great big four inch paper clip you just make one and that can be any theme the mini and the jumbo need to be christmas themed right the next swap is a christmas napkin swap and let me just And this is to exchange five standard size Christmas napkins. And if you use a cocktail size, that count, you have to put two of them in. Two cocktail Christmas napkins counts as one standard size. And for one of your swaps, you need to pop five standard Christmas napkins. And I'll just go through them. Some of these I got from Cologne when, when I went... Um, to clone last Christmas, went to the Christmas markets and I picked up some beautiful crisp German Christmas napkins there. So there's one. This is one of my German ones. It's got all the European traditional things that they have around Christmas time. Um, berries, cinnamon sticks, dried fruits and there's all kinds of German text going across there. I'm not going to unfold them because it's more or less the same in image on each one. And then here's a vintage Santa's face, Merry Christmas, red and gold border, again. And then here's another Santa with a candy cane, sitting delivering all the sack of gifts there that's that and then a christmas tree so you get five standard christmas napkins if you want to put some cocktail napkins two of those counters one of your five and these packaged in either a cello bag or a nice christmas flat gift bag they count as one of your choices and you have to make two choices all together right Christmas ephemera pack is the next section. Now this is just a standard bag and I'll be putting these in one of the Christmas envelopes which are made which is like that but for the purpose of the video I've just popped them in this pink bag and the Christmas ephemera pack needs to be a Christmas themed gift bag or envelope filled with ephemera the ephemera can be half christmas themed and half non christmas themed or all non christmas themed but cannot be all christmas themed so there's a pack of ephemera here 
you can have it all non-Christmas or half Christmas and half non-Christmas. But don't pack it all Christmas. Let's have some stuff you can use all the year round. And it's got to be in a Christmas themed bag or envelope. And for the purpose of the video, I've just popped it into this bag, which is not Christmas themed. But if I was to choose this for my swap, it would be in a Christmas envelope. And I'll just quickly go through here. There's some large tickets. Um, I've used all themes, baby ephemera. Um, just cut apart from G45 papers um, Merry Christmas in several different languages some coloured ephemera some postage stamps lots of tickets some Christmas ephemera some more tickets hot air balloon tickets Merry Christmas, as I said, and I think there's seven of these in seven different languages. And these can be uh, cut apart or ad old adverts or wallpaper images, any type of ephemera at all. And um, I'm always cutting out and collecting interesting ephemera. So there's an example of the ephemera pack doesn't have to be Christmas ephemera, but the packaging that, it is, that it's in needs to be Christmas. Then we've got a Christmas sticker swap. This is the next section. A Christmas sticker swap to swap a large sheet of Christmas stickers. Or if it's not a large sheet like this, then two small sheets. No children's tiny reward stickers whatsoever these have got to be decent size images that you can use um, I know there's some small ones here but you've also got the large ones and then you've got the very large ones up here and I can't remember how many stickers is on here but I think there was over 70 and the sheet measures 10 inches by almost 8 inches so this sheet measures 10 by 8 so if your sheets are considerably smaller than that then you need to pop two sheets in and with 